I wanted to share something that has to do with the last days. A lot of us focusing on the mark of the beast and Daniel Revelation and Revelation of Jesus Christ. And there's a part in Revelation that speaks of these particular angels. It's uh, It's been called the three angels message, but it sums up the character and a big warning to God's people and the people who want to search the scriptures for truth. So it sums up the character along with a warning. The warning is to wake up. Remember, the whole world goes after the beast. Why? Because they not have the love for the truth. The truth shall make you free, right? And you have the scripture that says, for they have not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So I'm going to go ahead and, and read Revelation 14, uh, 6. And I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and every nation and every kindred and tongue and people saying with a loud voice, this is the warning to us, fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come. So fear God and who do we give glory to? We give glory to God for his hour of judgment is come. Is means ever present, means right now. Whenever you receive it, it should resonate. Boom, it's there. And worship him that made heaven and the earth and the sea and the fountains of and waters. So here it alludes to not only the creation, but the one that made the creation. And who is God? God is the Father. We worship Christ. We worship God through Christ and God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. So when we receive Christ, we receive God. If I'm going to give you a Bible and I have something in there, you don't only receive the Bible, but you receive the paper that I left in the Bible. I'm not saying that God's a little piece of paper. I'm trying to make the point that you receive Christ and God is in Christ. So you have the full embodiment of the Godhead. So that is who we worship, and we are to know him for the hour of his judgment is come. Worship him. Who do we worship? The one that made the heavens and the earth. So we also know God by his creation. What earth did he make? What, what did he make with his hands? And although this is a brief reading, how powerful this particular uh, angel's message is. And then followed another angel. This is the second angel. Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made the nations drink of her wine of the wrath of her fornication. Notice it says made, means forced worship. And the third angel followed, saying with a loud voice. Remember, it says loud voice. It means warning, warning, warning. If any man worship the beast in his image and receive, the mark on in his forehead, not on inside of his forehead, meaning the thought process or inside his hand. It's not just a mark on it or something that's put in your hand. It goes deeper. When it says in, it speaks to the soul in his hand. The same shall drink of the wrath of God because they're not going to be with God. They're not going to be worshiping God. The first angel message explains who you'll be worshiping. Those warnings were followed this is what's going to happen as a result of not following the first angel's message. This, is, this can be broken down big time. And I've seen many studies breaking this down, but we're going to read it through. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured without mixture. That means he will turn his face fully away from his people because people will be denying him because they don't have the love of the truth. Many will say and think they're worshiping God, but the truth shall make them free from the bondage of sin, from themselves, and shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, and in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment will ascend up forever and ever. Forever means till the day it dies out, he will not torment you for eternity okay forever means gone till it's gone and i really want to emphasize on that because we do not want to serve out of god for being scared of him it's a different kind of fear 
True worship cannot be forced. You can't make someone love you. So we, God cannot make us love him. We are to get to know him. We can't love someone we do not know and truly worship someone just because we're scared of them. That is not true worship. And they have no rest day or night who worship the beast or his image or whosoever receives the mark. Why? Because their minds are going to be, uh, because it's torment. It's uh, the conscience burning through. The conscience is burning through the person. And then he says, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus Christ. And so they have the faith of Jesus Christ, not in Jesus, of Jesus. Why? Because God is in Christ and Christ is in you, reconciling you unto him. Praise the Lord. God is in Christ, reconciling you unto himself. So it is Christ in you that keeps the commandments and keeps his ways. Like when he says this, this is a voice saying this is the way walking in it. That's God talking. And sometimes we think it's God talking and it's not. So we got to make sure we, he wants us to learn to hear him. I'm focusing on the particular three angels and the importance because that first one really, really is very distinct. It's telling us who to fear, meaning love, respect, honor, uh, and who to give glory to. And it describes who he is. And that is beautiful. That's the first angel's message. God bless you.